Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy, welcome to part 45 of Oakdale City here in City Skylines 2. Hmm, yeah, so we have uh, successfully uh, um, combated the, the mail issue because everybody is happy again, no more, uh, you know, unreliable mail services and uh, that kind of work so i'm pretty happy with that also um we created another lane connection here for the ships to go outside of the map Ploop, they just go into the sand no problem with that and uh yeah i also or also said something about having this con train connection here being connected to the one over there yeah and not to mention about the water thing over here so a lot of things that we can do the thing is, um, like, yeah, I've been looking at this. It's, you know, it's a very busy place here. But, uh, yeah, I want to get this train line out. So, whatever it takes. Uh, we have the anarchy on. We turn the snapping off. And we turn the band on. We take this thing. And by the looks of it, it has to go into the air. So, I'm clicking here. And I'm bringing, I'm bringing it up. I also, select this option. You know, to make delicate movements. Uh, let's see what we can do. So first we bring it down again to zero because I pressed the button too quickly. And then just think about what I want to do. So these buildings probably will disappear because yeah, I need to get it there. So it needs to go over the road. That's one thing. Let's see what we can do. Let's, let's have a look like that. So how much space is that actually you know for those trucks that's that's important so it, it makes this kind of curve we bring it down to seven and a half meters i think that is just enough or maybe 8.7 to be sure and take a little bit more space yeah they fit do they fit i barely can see it Barely, I think, but I think it's enough. So, okay, but let me also get the zoning and let me dezone these buildings. Sorry, guys, you have to go. Bye. And then let's grab that train line again because I feel like that this has to go underground because I don't see any normal path that this train line could go except for underground. So, we are taking this from here. And then let's see, we bring it down to zero, like that. And then from there, it's like we have to take the space we do have all the way up to there. And then bring, us, bring this to minus 20. That would be then like this. Let's see how that works out. I think, I think that works out okay. Oh, here we need to take a bend, apparently, from here, then to there, at minus 20. Let's have a look where we can go slither by all the way to that station over there. Now, what is the most, the best part of the least resistance? Mm, there is none, there is none. <laughs> it's just, we have to just, we just have to go for it. So, okay, let's just go for it, I mean... Uh, we have anarchy, so what are we complaining? We just go underground, and if we in encounter something, we just go under it or above it. So, so here we encounter a metro station, which is probably sitting at minus 20. So, I take the anarchy now offline. Now you can see it will lit up ri red. So I bring this. Oh, e uh, e uh, yeah, to minus 30 bash and now it's all fine now it's at minus 30 question is do we keep it at minus 30 let's have a look we are taking a, a bend here into that direction and this will go yeah no well let's see where can i cross the area the best and also need to get there oh, this thing is like a you know a disaster I think through here might be the best uh, cut to try it out. So let's see. So we are going there. It's touching. Okay. And that is a metro. 
Okay, that surprised me a little bit. So we are going like that. And then we just try to go like that around the metro. I think this has been lowered. So yeah, makes sense. So we're taking it to there. And from there, let's see. That works. Now let me see how can I... Yeah, I want to go into... I want to go into that direction. Yeah. Whoa! No, 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 no. Oh, I hate if that happens. I have to delete it. Okay, try again. Okay. Yeah, do I have it? No, come on. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, you go uh, there. Yeah. And from there, you go there. Like that. Now, let me see. Here, it, di it dives down here. So, if I make the curve like so. Yeah. And here. Yeah, it has no issues. That's okay. Oh, here it also works perfectly. Can I just drag this whole thing just with anarchy turned off? You know, if it goes, then it goes. You know, that's the very simple reasoning. Uh, the power of deduction. How about here? Oh, I love it. So, 30 meters below the ground. We can now turn on the snapping again. And we can make this go to minus 20. Yep. And then from there we can connect it up to there. Ta-da! Fixed. Nice. So let me uh, de treeify this area a little bit. Is that even an English word? de treeify A uh, little bit less trees. I hate it, you know, when it does this, you know, this this weird, yeah, I don't know, it's, it is what it is, but it happens. Okay, let me turn on this thing, um, activate out of service, not anymore, and we are going to make a line. Oh yeah, and this thing also needs to be connected to the depot, <laughs> let me not forget that as well. First of all, cargo. Okay, we are going from there to, well, we don't have to look very far to here. Right, does that work? Yep, yeah, there and then back again to here. Complete route. Great. Now, of course, we don't, we barely see the route because that's the color of the route, but we can change that. We can change the cargo train route which is now i think this one yeah and this is the color and let's give it a mm, i don't know a greenish color something like that and uh yeah that's okay and it's going from d yeah that's d so there are no trains here because it is not connected to any um de depot now let me see depot for trains where do we have those rail yard this is uh, let me see this is one for metros i think no it's not this is this one is also for for regular trains but i'm kind of surprised you know how much these things are actually being needed uh, you know these are things are pretty bulky um i think yeah this is this is this a metro subway yard yes that's a subway yard and then this is a rail yard a regular rail yard now let me have a look here what can we do here to connect that also up um and we have an underground going here hmm interesting maybe we can also make a spur out of that so we take this thing Oh, that goes in that direction. Ah, okay, okay. So, how about, you know, just um, from here, taking a straight route like that, yes. And then we hook this up to there. Does that want? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think so. It does not complain, so that's already a good sign. And then from here we bring this just down, I guess, and then towards that thing, yeah. Or down, I mean, yeah, down. Let me see, usually a 20. Let me take everything off like that. Make it a little bit more straight-ish. 20. I think I have to curve it around that uh, that thing. Because if not, look, you see it's red. But we're just going around it. Just like that. Just around. And then... Um, yeah, we have to face this from the other side, so yeah, it's kind of uh, annoying, but yep, it is what it is. I'm going from there, and we end up then here. Okay, and let's see if we, oh, mamma mia, can we make a connection somehow? This is tricky uh, because of the, um, the angles we are facing. What if I just I pass this area like that, and then we make a bend, zoop, like that, and then like that, and then from here it's easier to just connect uh, to this, yeah, like that, and then from here, can you see that? That's nice, you yeah? know, just connecting it up to there, and also from here we bring a curve that is going. To there. Aha! Now, technically, there should be now a train coming from here, diving into this. Now, will there be a train coming out of this one or this one? Or this thing is already filled up, I don't know. Oh, wait! There he comes. Hey! There we have our train. Nice. Can we also extend this thing? Uh, this is like increase capacity for more trains. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 nice. Dedicate the uh, facilities that make trains maintenance faster. Yeah, why not? Just do it. Do it, do it. And then this thing. Let me see. We also upgrade it. Uh, increase capacity for more trains. Oh, yeah, I should have thought about that. And of course a warehouse. There. Could have been on the other side, but that does not fit. So yeah, we li we leave it at that. Um, ooh, this extra capacity makes it like. Yeah, I remember now that I said like this should be then going to the outside of the map. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we are going to do that. Why not? <laughs> Okay, so we are going here out, out of the east border. Chaka. Now let's not forget that connection from the east border. Uh, that's create a new starting route here. Yeah, from there to that new station we have built over here. Yep, there. And then go back to the east border. And then make sure that you're selecting the proper line. Yeah, that's connected. Perfect. So let's go here. And we have another cargo route that goes from cargo D back and forth to east border. Ta da! Now, I'm not sure if you also need to connect that one up to uh, the depot for the trains. A good question though how are we going to do that uh, those guys can come from here also hmm. could be possible you know that they can make it from here to there I rather branch it off from here yeah I think we will do that we take the underground track again and oh there's a 
Oh, there's already a train coming. Okay. And another one spawns. Okay, so that's not needed for an outside connection like that. That's interesting. Interesting, interesting. I love it. Yeah, love it. Okay, let's insert a few uh, amenities over here, like for example, parking. A little bit of parking around here. Also around this um, um, power plant, geothermal power plant. Um, yeah, okay, so we yank this up a little bit like that, 44, that's enough. And then we take the road and we change the road also into something more lush. So we don't get all this unnecessary parking around here. And beside this cargo train terminal also has enough parking of its own, like that. Uh, yeah, this we leave it at that. Look, I changed it into three lanes over here. And let me also remove those traffic lights. Left, straight on, or right. Nice. So these guys, you know, yeah, they can also utilize this cargo train station to bring stuff around, you know, to uh, to the harbor, for example. Yeah. So the traffic that we had in the beginning, it's all gone. Although they have a little bit of an issue here. It's like uh, I want first. No, I want third. Blah blah blah. The police will solve it. So, I also said something about, you know, doing uh, something here with water. Now, mm, yeah, we can do that. I mean, and also then utilize a sort of, a, you know, also a harbor in this area. Because we have like all these things over here. Industry, 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 uh, and even more. So, it would be nice to have like sort of a water situation over here. The only thing that I just... I'm just curious about is like if I do this okay let's go to the water mod um, no first to the landscaping mod sorry and imagine I will be making um, yeah a sea area over here okay let's first make a hole <coughs> here we have a hole Ta -da! Uh, <laughs> uh, let's make it a little bit less deep yeah something like that now Imagine if we have like around here, maybe eventually a harbor. Okay, fine. Now the question that I ask, I'm asking myself is like, you know, do I need to have the lake thing or the sea level thing? I think the sea level thing, but you know, that's my opinion because I have to connect this to the outside world. Yeah. So, well, even though there is no uh, sea connection present over here, let's not make it too too fat, you know. Otherwise, it takes ages to fill up with water. I think. <laughs> here we go, like that, and then a little bit of like softening. Otherwise, it looks so terrible. And let's just see, you know, what this mod can do. I mean, it's kind of interesting. Okay, now we're going to that mod, this mod. Now this is, a, yeah, you can place it here. Okay, we need to know the height here. The height here is 514 meters. So I would say like, okay, we need like at least 510 meters of water. Yeah, 510, yeah, 510. So I will just bring this down to five maybe 511 so let's place it radius radius is kind of large so let's put that down because look at the radius it's like it's a little bit too much two and a half thousand and can we put that here let's see what happens do we get water i am very curious let's see well well, there is water coming. I'll bite a bit slowly, but it's coming. Yeah, that's nice. Well, let me also remove those uh, trees. Uh, yeah. No trees on the bottom of, uh, you know, our new to form ocean part over here. But it's going very, very slow if I look at it. Hmm.
I wonder why that is. Uh, I really wonder. Well, water naturally already goes slower this uh, in this game. Look at my uh, original sea level. It still has not uh, been risen back to the original levels that it was. So let me also remove these trees. Mm -hmm. This is also why I say don't make it too big. Because it takes so much time to fill this up. Yeah, something like that. Because even here, look... The ships are still docking in uh, in a very stupid way. But this thing is already submerging more. It is going very slowly, but it is it is happening, you know? It is happening. Um, would it help if I place another one? I don't know. I have no idea. If I look at this thing again... Might be... Could be. Well, you know, if you don't try it, then you don't know it. So let's say we make a spur here. Well, that's the wrong button. A little spur, like that. Yeah, that's just flowing out, like so. That's wide enough, right? Yeah. Yeah, here we go again, play, playing with, uh, with, <laughs> with sand and water. <laughs> no, it's interesting to see that also water appears to be coming from here. But nevertheless, I'm going to put that water source in there. Um, 511 meters, yes. They're also saying here. I just put it here. Let's see what happens. So, how long this will take, uh, I have no idea. What I can do is just let the game run for a while and uh, let's see from a nice angle from, let's say, here with the city in the background. Mm, and I make a nice time lapse or something. Yeah, let's just do it from here, and then a photo, photo mode and then hide the camera, hide I used like that. Then you cannot move it anymore. <laughs> it's a little bit stupid, but yeah, I think this will do. Yeah, let's make a time lapse update. Let's see what happens. Well, this takes like a while, you know, before filling up and while I was watching this, by the way, I was just thinking, is it just possible? Just possible, and then we end this episode, uh, water tool to put a lake thing in here. I wonder, because this is like for the sea, and this is basically part of the sea, it's not a lake, but what would happen if we place that in here? Um, what was the height again? 500 and... 14 and we made it 511 let's see 511 and then with a bigger radius let's just try Boink. Ooh. Well, that does also work that's interesting ah very very interesting how about here so this flow the, 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 it is outflowing we have like a little bit of a waterfall going on here in theory you know in theory with this whole idea you can also make a nice hydroelectric dam very interesting yeah this is very interesting i think i it's even possible now for me like a make a sea lane just 
just to try it, water and then cargo, ship route, passenger, ship. Oh, we have two of those. No, 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 oh, wait, 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 ship, uh, wide seaway, yeah. Oh, tell me that this works, it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, it works. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Great, anyway, guys and girls, um, let's have a, before we end, before we end, just have a quick look about, you know, the city, how things are going, uh, power-wise, yeah, we're exporting power, that's still great, water-wise, we don't trade water, but we still have enough, please, prison availability, oh, there are no prisons, okay, good to know, administration, Station buildings. Okay, so welfare offices, building color citizens. Well, being bad, bad. Is that the red, uh, the red roads there? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Education. Holy smoke! <laughs> Elementary schools. We really need that many. Wow. Okay. More elementary schools. I, you know, I put like already two in this area because I thought like, well, it's needed. And um, just you know, oh, this is already a. Uh, this is already this. Uh, okay, already created here a an area back then. Oakdale suburbs downtown. Well, it, this is not definitely suburbs. This is more like. Uh, uh, Oakdale um, Manhattan uh, thing so let me change this to here and to here and let's make this a little bit smaller like that and then also change the name because the name is a little bit not fitting it's not sub suburbs downtown Oakdale Oakdale yeah what to say, uh, Oakdale, uh, Oakdale Hatton, <laughs> whatever. So can we see uh, information about this uh, zone or not? No, here. Oh, wait a second, if we click on this, yes. So we have like uh, a residence 14,000 oh my god they're like a 9,000 households I see oh yeah can we also see how many children are in here probably we can also check out if we click on an elementary school they are loaded this one is loaded and the other one this one is loaded okay I know enough we need another, at least another elementary school here as well. So we are going to. Uh, we're going to stuff it right. Um, yeah, we already have filled that up. Um, how about here? Like that. Okay, and then we add the wing to there. And then we do the more space for more pupils. And then we have like the playground as well, which fits nicely on the back here. Nice to the police station, so the kiddos are uh, very safe. So this thing is all also loaded. <laughs> okay, we uh, have something to do, you know, in episode 46, definitely. But uh, yeah, we are running now actually fine. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's actually nice. And in the next episode we will, uh, you know, make this happen but also another cargo harbor over here and we have enough demand for days for a whole bunch of industry here in this area and a cargo harbor will be perfect yes will be definitely perfect but that we will be doing in the next episode and uh, what is happening over here is this area also flooding hmm okay Uh, yeah, even this is now flooding. <laughs> That's a good sign. Uh, means like that the ships will not be doing 
well a little bit but that will end yeah uh, let's stop monkeying around i think uh, we have seen enough i would say like guys and girls thank you for watching this episode number oh, um, 40 what was it 46 45 i even forgot that 44 40. i think yeah this was 40 five if not then i will correct myself in the uh, editor and uh, i will just say like you know up until the next time up to 100 000 people by the way okay guys thank you for watching and until next time see you bye bye